Hi, I'm Eric Siegel with Ericstrains.com, and this is Eric's Trains Express Volume 3. Okay, so what I've got here is the new Lionel 3 rail O scale Southern Pacific Cab Forward that just came out. This is the pilot version that doesn't have a paint job, but they also did a version with paint, so don't worry. I will be doing a review of the new Cab Forward in a few weeks, but that's not really what I want to talk about today. What I want to talk about is the return of a really cool effect on these engines, and that is the whistle steam effect. And you can see that this new cab forward has the whistle steam smoke effect. You can see the little hole next to the whistle. The whistle steam smoke effect was brought out a few years ago, and then they stopped doing it for a while. And then finally, as of this year in 2014, they've brought it back, and I'm really happy about it. And so I just wanted to talk about this for a minute because this is the first engine to ship that features the return of the smoking whistle. And I think in this case it's really a win-win situation because Lionel gets to reuse an old tooling. This is not a new tooling. They have done the cab forward before. The last time they did it, it had TMCC in it and of course it did not have a smoking whistle. But now they've reused the same old tooling except they've innovated. They've added legacy on the inside and the smoking whistle effect. So they get to maximize their profits by reusing an older tooling and we get the benefit of having legacy on the inside and that new smoking whistle. So it's really win-win and I'm really happy about it and I'm really happy that they finally brought back the smoking whistle in most of their high-end engines and for that reason I ordered quite a few engines out of the new 2014 catalog. So anyway, what I'm going to do is start this thing up for a minute and show the, the newly returned smoking whistle in action. Okay, let's go ahead and start her up. Okay, so here's the hole for the smoking whistle, and there's the smokestack. Now, the smoke reservoir that feeds the smoking whistle is the same one that feeds the smokestack, so they share a reservoir but they each have separate fans. So let's go ahead and blow the whistle. Love it. Lionel brought out the whistle steam smoke effect around 2009 or so, and then as I said, they stopped doing it for a couple years, and now in 2014, they've brought it back. And I've got quite a few engines in my collection with the whistle steam smoke effect because I tried to buy as many as I could because I had a feeling it wouldn't last forever. And I've come to the conclusion that some smoking whistles are better than others. And it's really not any fault of Lionel's. It just has to do with the configuration of the engine, the size and the shape of the whistle and the position of the hole. And so some are better than others. And this is actually one of the better ones I've seen. It shoots up in a nice thick straight stream. It's really nice. So let's take another look. Looks fantastic, and I'm thrilled that this feature is finally back in the high-end Lionel steam engines. And like I said, it's a win-win because when you innovate, you give a reason for your old customers to trade in their old trains and get new trains. I know people who have the older cab forwards, which is the exact same model, except they don't have Legacy or the smoking whistle. And so this gives them a reason to sell their old cab forwards and get the new one that has Legacy, the Legacy sounds, and the smoking whistle. That's how you keep your customers coming back. You innovate year after year, and it's really nice to see Lionel doing that. So like I said, I will be doing a full review on the cab forward in the coming weeks, so keep an eye out for that. But for now, that's it. I'm Eric Siegel, and I'll see you next time. To discuss this model or any other O-Gage trains and to meet other O-Gage modelers, check out the O-Gage Railroading Magazine online forum at ogrforum.ogagerr.com.